while NASA investigates Perseverance wakes up early to record the passing of the sun. This is what one day on Mars looks like. We interpolated a portion of the sky, using these 13 images to create a smoother video of how the light changes over a Martian soul. The rover takes more images of the protective dust cap. There isn't any apparent damage or major dust accumulation on the outside. The team at NASA asks Perseverance to take images of Watson. The Watson camera has an identical dust cap, which is fully operational. There don't seem to be any apparent differences on the outside, but could Martian dust have gotten into the motor? That powers the dust cap of Sherlock. Perseverance tries several methods to open the cover, such as heating it using more power, rocking it back and forth, and using the rover's percussive drill mode in midair. Eventually, these efforts combine to move the cover significantly. It's all 1035, and Ingenuity is ready to perform a quick pop-up flight to check its systems after the emergency landing. Unfortunately, Ingenuity loses contact with Perseverance after reaching its planned altitude. The team at NASA is eager to know how the flight went. Two souls later communication with the helicopter is partly re-established and NASA orders Ingenuity to take some images of its current location for now. It is determined that the helicopter is sitting upright and alive. Meanwhile, Perseverance is still having problems with its dust cap. In this image, we can see that the cover is partially open. When the rover was built, NASA ensured that if one instrument failed, there were more to do the job. Luckily, we can still get spectroscopy data from other instruments. However, the laser is still out of operation. Although the problem persists, the rover captures stunning footage of a moon transit. On Mars, this is Deimos, the smaller of the two Martian moons. The video is sped up by a factor of 9. Perseverance looks toward the crater rim and spots a lighter patch of rock in the distance. The team at NASA estimates that these lighter layers could be up to 4 billion years old. No rover has ever studied Martian rock this old. The plan for Perseverance is to eventually drive up the crater wall and study these rocks up close. But first, the rover must explore Naretva Valles and check that Ingenuity is in good health. NASA eagerly awaits more news from the helicopter, and on Sol 1040, their worst fears are confirmed. This image shows the shadow of a broken blade. We can also see small pieces of debris and a large imprint in the sand where its foot has slipped. This image shows the imprint in the sand, in better lighting. Ingenuity quickly takes more pictures to see if there's any more damage the result is this time lapse. And shockingly another blade is also damaged. NASA is worried about the little helicopter and asked to see if Ingenuity can move its rotor. At all three wiggle tests are conducted and the results are shocking. The helicopter has barely survived the crash and is severely paralyzed. Perseverance begins to worry and moves to get a visual on the helicopter. Perseverance uses SuperCam to get a better view. We can see the debris from the broken blade, lying next to Ingenuity. NASA orders Ingenuity to carefully perform a full rotation in a final attempt to gather information. During this spin test, we confirm that a blade is completely missing. So what happened to Ingenuity? This flight was supposed to be a simple vertical flight to check all its systems. 
NASA now knows some of what happened. Ingenuity performed well on takeoff and reached the target altitude. However, on its descent, Ingenuity drifted off course and communication with Perseverance dropped out at a height of three feet. NASA isn't sure whether this communication dropout caused the helicopter to lose its balance or whether the loss of balance caused the communication blackout. Ingenuity knew it was off course and tried to rectify this pitching itself to get back on course. At this point the blades made contact with the dune, on which it now rests Ingenuity's blades move very fast, and any contact with anything will shred them. At some point the impact ripped one off completely. It's an unfortunate turn of events. Ingenuity simply wanted to return to where it should have been, and died trying. In this image from Perseverance to Supercam, we can see the blade that was torn off, and another set of foot imprints in the sand. This suggests that Ingenuity landed on just two feet, while its blades impacted the ground. The Ingenuity helicopter's primary mission on Mars has concluded after 72 flights and 17 kilometers. Ingenuity will go down in history as the first craft to perform controlled and powered flight on another planet. Its final resting place has been named Vale Nori Hills. The NASA team members responsible for Ingenuity put together this short segment. Ingenuity really opened the door for aerial exploration on Mars. It's just been this plucky little helicopter that just defied everybody's expectations. I'm incredibly proud and grateful for all that Ingenuity has been able to give us. What would you say to Ingenuity directly one last time? Ugh, you're gonna make me cry, you know. What would I say to Ingenuity? It's really hard to say goodbye to you. I would say thank you. Ingenuity, thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for leading the charge in our adventure on Mars, and we will never forget you. Rest well. Thank you, Ingenuity. Thank you, Ingenuity. Thanks, Ingenuity. Thanks, Ingenuity. However, this is not the end of Ingenuity's mission. The helicopter can't move but it can act as a stationary data collector. Ingenuity will wake up daily, record the temperature, and take a picture of the ground. We won't receive this data in the usual way. Perseverance will eventually have to drive away to continue with its mission. Since Ingenuity talks to Earth via the rover, we must go to Mars and physically retrieve the helicopter's hard drive. When we do the team at NASA, Estimate that the hard drive could contain over 20 years of daily temperature measurements and pictures. One final gift from Ingenuity to all of humanity. Perseverance will now travel alone. The disabling of Ingenuity emphasizes the issues of the rovers. Stuck dust cover even more. Perseverance rigorously shakes its arm trying to fix the issue. NASA also orders the rover to rotate its arm to see if it can fix the problem. In this sequence, we can see that the cap has moved slightly, so the movement seems to be working. On SALT 1056, Perseverance stops to watch a Martian eclipse. It's a moment to pause and reflect on the journey so far the loss of our great scout ingenuity, and what the future may hold for this mission. This is Phobos, the larger of